So now what I want to do is make sure that I'm not controlling all the characters, just the main player, the one that I'm controlling, and that the other player controls his own or her own player. Now, how I'm going to do this? Well, if you look in the Iron Man character, the Iron Man prefab here on the, on the inspector, you will see that we have the identity. You guys remember we added the network identity script right here and we selected the local player authority that because that's to mini, me, meant to be used as each individual um, entity. Now I'm going to use that whenever I'm moving the character and people that already um, created that course with me already know that to move the character it's inside of the Iron Man behavior script. So go ahead and open it. Here is the Iron Man behavior script. And as you can see, inside of the fixed update, we are doing the move and we are doing the animating and the turning. All right. But what I want to do here is that I don't want to move unless it's the real player. So how do we do this? Well, we do if is local player. But in order to be able to do that, I need to change that from being a mono behavior script to a network behavior script. Now I need to be doing a using statement, unity engine dot networking. All right. And now I can turn this into a networking. So you guys see network behavior. All right. Now going back to where I was for the move, I'm going to say if is local player. So is equal to true. So yes, if it's the local player, then we move. If not, then we don't, we don't, we're not going to move the other player character. All right, and save this. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to Unity, press play and see, see this in action. All right, so file, I'm going to build, build and run, and I'm going to press play here as well. Okay. And now I'm going to press play here, right? LAN host, I have one character and I'm going to put the second one here as a LAN client. And as you can see now, I'm going to move the character in this client. And as you can see, there is only one character moving, only the red one, okay? And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And as you can see, there's only one character moving. Now, this, the other one is taking the animation as well. And the reason why it's taking the animation is that because I only, only did that for the move. So if you already understand what I'm doing here, you need to do this for the animating and the turning as well. All right. So that's how we're going to do that. I'm going to take all this code and I'm going to cut it and put it inside here as well. All right. And now I can save this and I can test it again. And now it's, it's going to follow it just the way it is. All right. And that's how you do to make sure that it's only doing your character. Now there's another problem is that whenever I press the, the, the shoot, both characters are shooting and that's definitely not what we want. So again, here we need to make sure that only uh, you're only shooting with your character, but uh, it's a bit different here because the shooting needs to be taken care of from the server side. Why? Uh, I'm going to explain all of this in the next lecture.